Hi guys, so as you can see, we've got a new addition to the family. So sorry for the videos, we haven't had many out lately or obviously we've been putting on live matches when I've been out, but as you can imagine, we've had a dance full and we've been a bit busy over the last few months. So we're back out, we're back doing videos and now we're up at Heart Hill Res. So we're on the third pond. So there's actually another two ponds down below that have been drained. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and when they got drained, a lot of the fish got moved into this pond so it's a lovely lake it's all had its pegs cut out so i think it used to have a few pegs on it but lads have been up cut a load of pegs out obviously it's got a load of fishing did have quite a lot of weeding before but the fish have mullered that now so don't seem to be any issues lovely tree lined and as far as i'm aware it's got some nice big tench roach bream and a good head of carp as well so let's see how we get on hopefully it'll be good for us and won't interrupt too much we'll get a video out for you and i'll see you soon so I'm just going to run you through what bait I'm actually using today. So we're fishing for mainly tension breed and what I've got in my buckets. I've already mixed some, but I'll show you what's in there. So we've got some hemp and corn. So we've got a few tins of that. We've got some six milli feed pellets and then a good glug of the salted caramel. So it's all nice and sweet. Obviously this time of year, I like sweet smelling stuff. Personally, I like sweet smelling stuff and I think the fish do as well, to be honest. And it makes a right nice mix. Look at that. A bit of corn in there, some hemp and then some pellets. With a bit of the juice, it smells lovely. I could eat it myself, to be honest. So I'm putting this out via a spod. So it just gets a bit of bait down a bit quicker rather than using a bait up feeder. If venue allows it, then why not? Just means I can get a lot of bait in quite quick. And when fish moving on it, I'll just put a couple of spods in over the top, just keep it topped up, and away we go. Hopefully, we'll catch a few. So, as I've said, I'm going to be putting my bait in via a spod. So, for those of you that don't know, this is a spod, like a little missile. Put your bait in, it's the water. When it hits it, it opens. Good method. Don't try attempting this on a normal rod, though. Obviously, it can be quite heavy with a lot of bait in normal line you'll probably just crack off so you want a built up rod for it a powerful rod and some braid so this is purpose made braid for the job shock leaders on make sure it's all powerful because it does get quite heavy does this so just pop that there just fill it up with my hand so a good handful each time there we go put this one out And then I'm going to put about another half a dozen in, get a bit of bait down, finish getting sorted, and then hopefully there's a few fish waiting for us. just spotted that bait out just gonna cast out onto the spot I don't think we'll catch one straight away to be honest there we go sink the line leave that a bit and we'll see how we get on tell you what we're a lot quicker than what I thought it were gonna be I thought we'll put that bit of bait out Give it half hour or so, but I reckon we've been waiting 10 minutes if that. And literally, nice little bite, it's just flown round and we're into a fish. Oh, we've got a little bit of issue. We've got weed on the line and the line will. All that pollen keeps getting caught, so it's through the first eye, so I don't think we're going to snap off. But who knows? No, we won't. It should be alright. I don't know what it is. Could be a carp. Who knows? Carp, bream, tench. I don't think it's a bream. I'd say... Is it tench? It's coming in quite nicely. 
but it's putting up a bit of a scrap. But it could just feel heavier because I've got that bit of fluff underneath my line, to be honest. It's a fish anyway. We've got one. I reckon we're going to have quite a nice day if it's gone that fast. Plenty of fish in here there is. Plenty of fish. Nice to get a bending rod as well, to be fair. Oh. It's got to be a carp, is this, hasn't it? Unless it's a mega tench. I think it's a carp. It's dead shallow is this lake, so the fish do run quite a bit. Rather than just plodding underneath tip when they want to go, they just they just go. Plodding out there just on that. Uh, he's on his way in now. There he's coming now. Oh. There he is, look. Nice smooth. Come on. Lovely fish that is. Oh, in the net. Let's have a look at him. Oh. There we go. Oh, he's not a bad one at all, him. There we go. Nicely upped. Oh. I'll hold him up for you if I can. It's quite lively still. Come on. Got a bit of weed on him. Look at that. Get that bit of weed off him. Leaf. Let's tail out. There we go. Look at that. Lovely fish. I'll slip him back, get cast back out. And hopefully there's a few more waiting for us. So I've just reloaded my method feeder. I'm going to chuck it back out onto the spot. Nice little plopping. The stink me line. Hopefully. There's not many bits of fluff on water at the minute, so I'm hoping to avoid them. I think it's willow fluff. Stick my line nicely, hopefully. If it's under water, it shouldn't get much fluff on it. I'll stick that, there we go. That's sunk. I'll give that, I reckon, 10 minutes. And then if I ain't add one, I'll put another three spawns in. So what I'm going to tell you actually is obviously I've just had that carp and as you've seen I unhooked it, flipped my method feeder in, slap bait on, it's just wrapped round and gone down there. When I've unhooked the carp obviously I held it up, put it back in net and I've gone to, I could see carp swimming around, I've gone to go lift my rod up and I thought oh foul looked at it, swam into it silly thing and when I've got it I've gone to go land it and it's actually eaten me wafter again, so I've literally unhooked it, threw my method feeder in, put the fish back and it's eating the same wafter again <laughs> within the space of obviously 10 minutes, so I caught the same fish twice. One of them. Never done it before. Don't know if you've done it like that before. Bit weird. Not the usual. So yeah, caught the same fish twice. Does it count as two? Who knows? <laughs> Let me know what you think. He'd not got far, I'd literally put him in here and he got to there where my method feeder flipped out of her. So yeah, and now I've oh, got an indication. Just chucked out. There's definitely fish there. I reckon we'll get another one before I've got a feed. Now there's a few fish there though. It's all about just keeping that bait going in. So I will put bait in after I catch another. Just because if there's that many in area, 
we've got to keep bait going in to keep catching them. I was fishing with a large method feeder. Get quite a bit of bait in one of them, just micros around it. Put a little bit of the, the good old fateful salted caramel. If you've not smelt that yet, it's worth buying a bottle just to smell. It reminds me of you know, the custard donuts you get from Greg's. If you like them, you'll like that. It smells exactly the same. Salted caramel, custard donut. It's the same thing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. There's a few indications there. I don't think it'll be too long. Get another fish. Have a nice day. That's what it's all about. I wonder what it'll be. I'd like a tench next, I think. I know there's quite a few in here. Nice tench, nice little red eye. I think there's some nice bream in here as well. I think I prefer a tench to a bream, but I won't turn my nose up at a bream. Or another calf, I suppose. Right. I might as well leave it there and I'll join you when we hook one, I suppose. Or when I refeed, whatever comes first. So we literally just turned off. I said to Adam, shall I put my bib and brace on? It was like, eh. And then obviously it went, so I ain't got a bib and brace on. But who's bothered? I'll just get wet. I reckon this is a tench I do. It's definitely not a carp. Tench or a bream, but it had a couple of head shakes. So I reckon, well, I felt a bit of fluff going then. I reckon it's a tench. Oh, there's some big roach in here as well. Could be one of them. I think it's a bit... Oh, no, it's a little tench. Ah, oh, how cute is this? Look at this. Do get a bit bigger than that in here, but... We'll take it. Look at that. Ooh, I do like a tench. Ah. It's a baby, is this one? Oh, I'm going to unhook it, otherwise I'm going to end up with a hook in my finger. There's no bait on this one, so we're not going to have a repeat performance of catching it again. I don't think tension is daft as carp. Look at this, it's like a bar of soap is. A bit silty, isn't it? But you ready? Got to be quick. Look at that. How cute is he? Or her? No, it's male. Males have bigger things, don't they? Yeah, so I have to say he's a male. Cute one at that. Right. See you later, fishy. Popping back. Get cast out. And then I might put some spots over the top, I think. We're not taking long. Wipe my hands. We're all a bit. Look at that slimy. So while we're waiting for his next bite, not sure how long it'll take, I don't think it'll be too long, I'm going to actually run you through what I am fishing. So I'm fishing a, a method feeder, 30 gram, and specifically the large version. So I could fish a small and get bites, but with a small I think it'll dig into the silt more, so this venue's really silty. And with a large one it's just got a bigger surface area, so when it comes down I don't think it'll dig in because it's got a larger surface area basically, so that's why I've opted for Sorry if I keep looking away, I'm just watching my rod. <laughs> That's why I've opted for the larger version. So I've got a large method feeder. And then to that, I am fishing one of the pre-tied hook lengths. So these are 14, 019 band. Pre-tied, there you go. That's all my prep done for you. And on them, I'm fishing the bandum. Obviously, you can see how long I've had these. They do last for ages, worth getting a pop. Washed out. Just a nice little pink six milli in the band. And then we've showed you how you load the method feeder as well. So just need one of them. Oh, I'm getting a few indications. It's a large method mould just to make it all nice and neat. Goes in, nice little plop. Sits on top of the silt. Obviously we've spotted in as hemp and corn and some pellets over the top. And yeah, getting a few bites, catching a few fish, having a lovely day and just enjoying being out. And I think that one might be on as well. 
Oh, what are we saying here? It don't feel like a carp. It feels bigger than a tench. Mm, is it tench actually? Oh no. Unless it's a big bream that's just turned on its side. It's got to be a carp, hasn't it? I don't know, I'm struggling here. I know there's some big bream in here, so I think it could be a bream. It just goes to show using them big flat, big surface area on them flat methods. It does work. Oh, I think we're getting a little bit of... Oh no, we're all right. I thought I had a bit of fluff trouble going on then. You don't want trouble with your fluff. It's never a good place to be. I don't know what this is, you know. Seems heavy, but it's not done out. I thought I could see it under water then. Is it a big tench? I reckon it's a bigger tench. Get out of there. It's like a snag pit down there, it is. I reckon it's a bigger tench, I do. Oh, look at that. Even the tench put a nice bend in these rods. Look at that. Ain't caught nice big tench for ages. Last one's all I've been on canal. Look at that. Look at that going over the net. Give me a right little battle. Oh. Come on. I've said you're nice now. Play the ball. Not into them snags. There we go. Oh. I'll tell you what, there's a decent tension. Look at that. I'm going to get wet a bit here now. Nice and stocky. Very deep this one. Got a couple of leeches on him. Just get them off. Get your leeches off. Right, you're gonna stay still just while I show you to camera. Look at that. One sec. Look at him. Lovely fish that. Hold him out. Very slippy tench, aren't they? Look at the size of his fins. Nice. Slipping back. Put some more bait out and go again. Eh? So once again, that spotting has brought a few fish back. Put another two spawns out, just kept that bait trickling in. And as you can see out there, it's literally black. They're turning it up. It's all still at bottom. You can just see where fish are. And this feels like another tench, to be honest. We have had a few carp. I've not filmed all, filmed all fish. Quite a few tench. I've had a lovely day catching tench, to be honest. So what I've targeted mainly, I've put a lot of hemp and corn in, some pellets, and yeah, just mainly fishing for tench, but obviously carp are more than welcome as well. If it were out and out targeting carp, I'd have gone down more boily and pellet approach than more hemp and corn. But I were hoping to catch odd bream as well. Obviously we've caught a few carp a long way, but these little fellas at main species that I come to target, there's not many places you can go and catch a load of these. There we go, putting off his last little fight. There we go. Oh, look at that. Like bars of gold there. Little green bars of gold. Well, not that little, to be honest. Look at him. Oh. Definitely a little 
little slippy. Look at that. Woo! Lovely fish. Get a quick picture and slip her back. So I'll give you a quick run through just the tackle that I'm using. So I've got a superior 10 foot rod, which is 30 gram weight. So that I've got a centrist reel, which is 420 with eight pound sinking feeder mono. Obviously eight pounds quite heavy, but there is some 20 pound carp plus in here. Quite a few of them. So if we look any of them, we don't want to be getting snapped and them trailing a load of gear around. Then obviously a Preston method feeder, 30 gram flat. Just a large version, so it sits on top of silt. Pre-tidal clamps, size 14 to 019 on a band, and that's it. That's all you need to catch these. So I think we're going to actually end on this fish. It's getting close to bedtime. It's time to go. We can't stay on like we used to. I've had a lovely day's fishing, to be honest with you, and I didn't expect it to be like that. Oh, we're going to end on another little tinker. Took me through a bit of weed. But it's a lovely one to end on anyway. So, this is his last fish. Another tench to end on. But when you're catching fish of this stamp, Look at them, lovely fish, stocky as old, and you don't mind catching them all day. I've had a lovely day, made a change to get back out filming, and hopefully won't be that long before the next one.